Welcome to the Millbrook Railroad. Uh, you gotta love these late fall track maintenance projects like this one here where we have a joint coming apart and we have what I will call mud pumpers. I gotta add some ballast in there. He's really hungry. <laughs> Just taking all the ballast. That's a good thing, though. All right, I think I jacked that up enough right there. Oh, not there, though. I guess that really hungry area is where most of your troubles were. No, it hadn't become a trouble yet. Oh. But I noticed it. And so... That's a lot more stable. I noticed it uh, was starting to be a trouble, so yeah, that one's solid right there. Let's see, that's solid right there. Good, I got it. It's the ballet shuffle. Woo woo! <laughs> I'd use the power broom, but it's not worth it for this one small spot. Take more time to get it out and get it set up than it does to just sweep this off. So don't it literally be uh, uh, take the uh, track level, yep. get the broom, yep. set it up, yep. Put the track level on the track. Take the weed whacker head off, put the broom head on. Oh yeah. A lot of work. And it just took me half the time to sweep that off with a broom. There we go. And it took you no time at all just grabbing a track broom and doing it manually. Now I just have one last thing to do. This joint here isn't in very good shape. It's a gnarly joint. So I got to take it all apart. Um, I may have to drop this a little bit because I jacked it up too high, but oh well. And I'll redo the joint. New joint bars, new screws. And if I can find some of the old ones, I'll use them. But uh, yeah, let's get to it. Thankfully, the hardware is coming apart nicely without breaking. There's only one not holding this whole thing together, and uh, 
Those joint bars are Ben. Quite knackered. There we go. Got that to settle down. <clears throat> so this rail needs to be replaced. Oh. We're not going to do it right now. I'm going to do it when I rebuild the switch. I'll replace the uh, the rail and the frog, just basically rebuild the whole switch. Um, I might rebuild both of these switches actually with uh, with culp rail instead of the lighter stuff here. Um, it takes a beating a lot a lot better. But for right now, this rail is going to work just fine. This rail has certainly taken a beating. All right, there's the washer. There's the lock washer. And the square nut. Because I believe a I lot know. of this section isn't an original track. Well, it's some of our earliest track, that's for sure. So let's, let's put in like 2012, 2013, somewhere around there. 2010. 2010. 2011. So yeah, it's... This was, uh, this switch used to be four and three quarter inch gauge. Both of these did. And, uh, I just pulled them up from where they were at. The ties were already rotten. And I, uh, installed new ties. When I brought them here, <coughs> put them up to seven and a quarter. Put up a seven and a quarter inch gauge. Well, seven and a half actually in this case. Well, this is because by that time I there was already seven and a half inch gauge equipment here. So is it seven and a half or seven and a quarter? Both. It's both. I mean, the track is seven and a half inch. And made to accommodate the seven and a quarter inch gauge equipment. There we go. I'll tighten that up. Put my thumb on that so it doesn't go anywhere. There. I just have two so more it's to do. Technically both. It's technically it can handle both. I'm gonna put all of the nuts on the outside here. I know some people are gonna give me some grief about that, but. I don't care. You're not the one who has to maintain this. You're not the one who has to uh, replace these. And they're not easy to replace. It's not easy to get in between the gauge here at this particular location. It's a little easier out on the main line, but I've got switches here, I've got close quarters, and this is just not the easiest place to be replacing joints. Needs to be done though. Yeah. yeah. I'll thread that on. Put that on there. Now, I'll get my finger on that and just crank that down until I see the, the lock washer flatten out. There we go. All right, so that should hold. Those little lock washers should be doing their job, I think. And uh, the flat washers, I guess we'll see how those do. And it's just a little experiment. Cranked down nicely, um, so I expect that should uh, that should hold. That'll at least hold for the winter time. Now I gotta do the other part of this, which is adjusting these screws. It'll hold for until we uh, get in there and replace the Yep. It'll hold for that. Alrighty. Now, now that I've tamped all this, I have to untamp a little bit of it. And 
I have to move this tie over ever so slightly. And then uh, tamp it again. Need the rod? Or at least gonna need it? I'm going to in a minute. Actually, why don't you hand it to me? I'll, I'll knock this tie over. Thank you. There we go. Line that up right there. That actually looks pretty good. Yeah. The joint. That's where it should be. That's, that's what it should look like. I'll just put these screws back in the holes they were in. That actually pulls the tie up a little bit too. So now I can, uh, yeah, that supports the rail a little better. Oh, that loosened up a little bit. Ah, I'll tighten the screws up a little more. Well, at least you figured uh, this out now and not while we're putting load. Oh, well, I figured this out a couple of weeks ago that I had a problem here. No, uh, I mean the... And I saw that the, the tie was shifted like that, uh, too. The screw, when it popped out a little. Yep. That's what I was talking about. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. So then the screw could completely pop out when we put load, and then... Yeah, we don't want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. Completely wreck the track. Just pack that a little extra there. Move this in by hand. It's only yeah, around a couple of ties. There we go. Almost like we were never even there. Yep. So there we go. That joint is back together. And uh, yeah, I know there's a bunch of uh, people who would not have done it this way. Um, this is the way I'm doing it because this is what I got ma for materials and uh, yeah, Loctite. I've used it. Things get loose even with Loctite, so we're trying it with the uh, with the, the lock washers, and if it doesn't work, I guess I'll go back to Loctite. But uh, yeah, this is a really easy area to get to. Not exactly the easiest area to get in between the gauge with, but uh, anyway. So you can see the rail is uh, quite beat up. Well, this is like and slated for trail, replacement so. pretty soon. Or this. This rail was 50 years old when I put it in and, oh, and really? uh, heavily used. So it's uh So you just put put in even more beating. Yeah, so I so I'm just giving it more of a beating. So there we go. Uh hey dad. Yeah, I know that goes up and down. We have a uh a, we have a trailer loaded with uh, ballast. We have a tamping rod. You know what that means? We get to fix it. That's right. Side. In order to jack this up and support these ties, we gotta get piles on the side. See the sound is starting to change. Yeah, when you when you hit the ties, it, there's kind of a unsupported sound at first and then it firms up. I don't know if you can tell, but anyway. I can only see it see a change. Yeah. 
where it kind of like rises up. Yep. You can't hear the auditory sound. Look. You'll find a lot of things when you actually look. Yes, observation. We have eyes. Tired after a little bit. Yeah. in the guardrail there that I've got to clean out. Why don't you clean that out? Get those rocks out of there. Screwdriver if you have to. Pair of pliers. Here, use these. eventually settle in. That's fine. Okay. I do believe we is finished. Oh, crap. Huh. Oh, I managed to put a little ding in the body of the 71 well thankfully it's not finished getting painted because you can still see the wood grain in it so I'm gonna have to put some body filler in that <sighs> oh well I guess I just got to be careful but the track looks good anyway got that joint fixed I gotta fix the parallel one to it um, got the uh, track all supported going up into the engine house it's kind of been a problem for a couple of years now um yeah i still got more junk i gotta pick up and and uh, throw away and uh, get rid of uh not all that is junk though um some of that is material for building new stuff um actually some of this stuff goes to our ballast hopper these are, our, are the floors to the ballast hopper and these are the chutes to the ballast hopper um 
so I'm not throwing those away. But they're sitting right there, they're fine, they're out of the way, and uh, they're not hurting anybody. Uh, there's other stuff i got to get rid of, but uh, I've been cleaning this place up for, for years and years, and it's been a major task. Anyway, back to uh, track. So, that gets us a little closer to being ready for, for uh, winter time. Um, I'm glad to have that uh, joint replaced. Got to do one more, of course. Um, didn't see that until after uh, after we put the tools away. So I have to do that tomorrow. It's getting a little cold right now. It's still icy. It's been icy all day. Um, it got uh, four degrees above freezing um, at, at the warmest today, and just quickly dropped below freezing um, within an hour after that. So yeah, it's it's been uh, it's kind of a chilly one today. Hopefully tomorrow I'll be a little warmer, a little more pleasant to uh, do track work. But uh, even if it's not, I'll be doing more track work tomorrow. So I want to thank you for watching. Uh, if I did earn it, uh, please subscribe. Uh, like the video, hit that thumbs up button. Uh, share it with your friends. And uh, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.